Oh no, I can't believe I did that. All right guys, I am not so excited about today's video. We're tearing apart the engine. I mean, for good reason, it's just, this is major mechanical work. Uh, Dwayne's getting started on all of this, but let me tell you what is going on. So this engine has about 730, 40 hours on it, but it hasn't run in four years. Now, there are people who just throw some oil inside of this and say, let's do it. But me, uh, this is the lifeblood of the engine. This is my life on the line. So I wanna make sure that we don't have a, another hard landing that requires a complete rebuild of the airplane. So we're gonna pull all the jugs off. We're going to replace every single seal that is on here. We're also gonna have to do something unique. Uh, you see right here, this is for fuel injection. But over here on the other side, for some odd reason, we're missing them. So I'm going to take these to a machinist and have these drilled out so that we can put the fuel injectors inside of this. And yes, I don't know if I've said it yet, we are fuel injecting this engine. Super excited about that. So let me show you all the parts that we're going to be dealing with while Dwayne is getting started on this. Okay, I'm math wrong. It's been six years, so even more reason for me to want to replace all of those seals. But right over here, we've got all the parts on the table. And first up, the fuel injection kit from Avstar. This is a piece of art by itself. Oh my goodness. Huge thanks to Avstar for making this possible. We wanted to move over to this guy. We were running a pressure carburetor from Bendix, but that was not working at all. Much cheaper to switch over to fuel injection, but we've got everything that we need, the injectors, the distributor, and stuff to be able to make that happen. Back here, I talked about these a little bit. We are using spark plugs from Champion. So they're just spark plugs, but we're excited to have a new fresh set inside of the airplane. What I am incredibly excited about is <laughs> this from New Horizons, their Maggie Ignition System. This, I have never seen something like this before as far as a ignition wiring going. They've got these elbows on them, 90 degree elbows, which is gonna make running the wires a lot better, give us a little bit more clearance uh, with all of the baffling and the cowling on the airframe. So a uh, huge thank you to Maggie Ignition System, New Horizons, for sending this entire kit over. Now, the last thing that we're gonna be putting in here is this engine information system from GRT, which is Grand Rapid Technologies. And they provided this and sent it over. I mean, we're, we're talking about EGT, CGTs, all kinds of sensors, all the things, so much wiring. Oh my gosh, that is gonna be a huge video to make. All of these great parts are gonna go in it. And unfortunately, that's gonna, not gonna happen in this video because I'm gonna be making a video for each one of these things being installed. We'll probably do these two guys together though. So uh, let's set up some cameras and I'm gonna get started helping Dwayne. the screws and everything off over here so kind of excited to see what it looks like under here i'm hoping it's like super clean would i just pull these uh, the it, yeah just really careful because it is aluminum okay oh oh i scratched it that's fine right there oh my gosh and yeah, then you got the crappy cork oh. gaskets and... well these don't look terrible no it they looks, don't it looks healthy it looks clean no gunk or anything okay let's do this guy I'm probably gonna scratch it too, but just yeah, just be really gentle. And... There we go. So I forgot to mention this. The other reason that I wanted to tear this apart is because it has been sitting for six-ish years. I want to make sure that there's no corrosion on the crank or specifically the camshaft. So that's really what we're doing in the video today: is tearing this all apart, getting it ready for the machine shop, and doing a thorough inspection. That's why I've been so happy with what we've seen so far. Dwayne, what, what's the next step in this process? Uh, the next process is we got to take tension off of the rocker arms, and we're gonna pull we're gonna pull the rocker uh, rockers off. And then we can undo like what that bolt, and that allow us to take these guys out. Yes. So these are this bolt here is the retaining for the rods uh, push rod tubes. Okay, that's easy enough. And then once that's done on each one, then we can just undo these bolts and. Slide it off slowly. Gently slide it off, yep. Okay. 
So uh, the tension on these has actually been relieved probably because of the position of the engine right now. So we should be able to what, just pull this guy out? Oh my gosh. All right, I'm, I'm gonna hold this one. And then, okay. oh, oh, they they stay in place. I, no, no, they'll pull out. Okay. But I just we have to make sure that we've got, you know, we're paying attention to intake and exhaust. And we're starting with uh, cylinder one, one on purpose. We're yeah. we're trying to do this right. So, okay, cool. Well, we're just gonna keep going then until we get to these guys. All right. Okay, so this retaining clip had a little lock thing, whatever here that was bent that way. So we just pounded those guys out just a little bit, just enough to be able to get a socket around here. So we're gonna take this off and then we should be able to remove these tubes by pulling them through. And that will make it so that this cylinder is completely free and we can unbolt them. All right, got all the bolts off. Um, Dwayne says remove these. He already got the bottom one. Straight off. Straight, Straight off. off. All right. Ooh, you lucked out. <laughs> Why? What did I do wrong? Well, the the piston. Uh, if you have one where the piston's all the way out. Yeah. If it you didn't want. The, oh, you don't want it to fall. Yeah, you don't not. want the connecting rod to just hit oh. the uh, case half. The things that we learn while we're making <laughs> mistakes. Look inside there. How's that look? Mm, like a combustion chamber. Like a combustion chamber. <laughs> I don't think that looks bad at all. That looks pretty darn good. Ooh, there's oil in there still too. That's it. That's the assembly, the whole assembly you'll send. Wow, valves are looking good inside of here. I'm happy with this cylinder. Before we actually keep going, let's take a look at this guy too. And uh, I'd say this guy's looking good. Just a normal amount of soot. Guys, I do have an automotive background. Um, do a lot of stuff with, with cars and these are not complicated. So I'm not seeing any cracking. I'm not seeing anything wrong with the piston rings in any way, shape or form. The wrist pin's looking really good. It's, I mean, look how freely this is moving. Yes. Yeah, that is fantastic. And uh, we'll take a look inside of the crank, or case in just a little bit. But uh, yeah, now, now let's keep going. Oh no, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> the subscribers have fallen. All right, that's twice. Hey guys, Dwayne here. <laughs> This, this is not going well for the overhead shot. All right, while well, I was dealing with the uh, the camera falling multiple times, Dwayne got this other cylinder head off. And, uh, oh, sorry, I'm, in, I'm inspecting this on the fly while I'm talking with you guys, so. Okay, guys, I'm gonna show you these cams up in here. We've already done our inspection, but uh, from what we can tell, there is no corrosion. The uh, camshaft itself looks great. The lobes look great. Look at that up here. The, the intake for one is the exhaust for other, the other, something like that. It's uh, it's pretty cool, but I could not be happier right now. So this totally means that we're just replacing seals and stuff like that. We still got to look at the other side and at the jugs, and then I got to send these offers a little bit of machining, but I am in high hopes that we're going to be able to get this engine running without any issues, and it will have a much better service life than if we didn't do this stuff. So. You know what? I, I don't know what else to say. We, we accomplished what we wanted to accomplish today. Dwayne, hey, thank you for your help. You're welcome. So uh, we're going to button up the other side. No need to show you this stuff twice. So as always, share aviation wherever you can, and we'll see you in the next one.